She's a man eater. Hello, my babies. You're here again with me, baby. Welcome back to my channel. If you're watching today, I'm very, very excited for us. For us. <laughs> because I mean, I do love my luxury bags, but my life really does not revolve around them because I. I'm a very casual person. I like to go to the grocery by myself. I'm not very high maintenance and there are days that I don't really want to take care too much of my bags and so I really need options that are much cheaper and much more durable. So let's do this. What are my top five non-designer bag brands? I love going to Herschel when it comes to canvas bags that are very very durable and they always come with some amazing tech that makes my life so much easier. These are my top two favorites at the moment. I go for this pink bag over here. If I am wearing some lighter clothes, I want something a little daintier. I love that it is kind of this mauve color. I chose it just so all my bags aren't black. It has this perfect size which really fits every single thing you could possibly need. It has a side pocket over here and it also has a hook where you can put your keys and not lose them all wherever they could be. My only con for this one is that the straps are a little bit rough. So if my clothes, for example, I'm wearing this Airism from Uniqlo, I would expect some pulls and tugs which is not really ideal for more delicate tops. So I do wear this with t-shirts and other polos that don't require any extra thinking. For some reason, this is a little bit more gentle, but this backpack has gotten the most use. It's crazy how often I reach for this bag because it's a backpack. I never thought that I would be a backpack girl, but it is very teeny tiny and it weighs like nothing. If you see over here, it has a very small, ooh, my laman. I have a mask. <laughs> it has a little pocket over here where you can put quite a lot of things. So I do tend to put my masks in here or extra candy. And then here, the main compartment is so, so spacious. But there are no pockets, so they do tend to just roll around in there, which is perfectly fine. I love this little thing, but the fact that it is a backpack, I don't necessarily wear it everywhere because I am very um, scared. I do tend to wear it this way if I am in a shadier area, so I know just where exactly my wallet is. Nevertheless, these bags, 10 over 10, would buy more colors, would buy more styles. For sure. Next brand to talk about is Aldo. Now we see Aldo stores everywhere and they always have the edgiest, like most stylish bags and shoes. When I saw this one, I like lost my mind a little bit just because it is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Those butterflies, I cannot. The handle is also truly something else. And a lot of my bags are just black and boring, so <laughs> this was a very welcome change. Materials used by Aldo are also super good. I mean, they're not leather that will last you forever, but they do last quite long. I love that this bag is so structured and that it has a little pocket on this side, a zip pocket, and like an open pocket. And the fact that the strap is also removable. Mm. I just love Aldo when it comes to being more playful with my style because they just have all the kinds of aesthetic that you can possibly think of. This one I believe would fall into like Barbie core or something like that but if you want something super sleek and edgy, if you want something like over the top girly, Aldo is the place to go. Next brand is Beyond the Vines. I first fell in love with Beyond the Vines when they came out with this, when they came out with their dumpling bags. So I bought this blue one just to try it out. And this little thing has gotten so much wear just because the color is, you know, I love blue. It is so lightweight, it, it comes in this really thin material it's kind of nylony but not i'm not really sure what it's made of my wallet my cell phone my lipstick they all fit in here there's no way to close the bag though so that's a little bit of a problem 
but no worries they came out with a poofy bag and I love this so this poofy bag is also very lightweight not as lightweight I think just because it has a lot more material on it it has a flap this time but the fact that it's like a pillow it just is so amazing the color might be my favorite thing but I do like how it's magnetic with the enclosure and then inside you have so much organizing factors <laughs> organizing factor yeah so you have your main compartment and then you have a small pocket on the side it's usually where i put my hair clips and such and then you have this zipper pocket where you can put things that are a little bit more important you can also remove it with the snaps but i do like to keep it on i think my only gripe would be the fact that it is kind of short when you wear it cross body it just kind of ends here and that is already the longest setting i wish it had a little bit more just to kind of give us more options i'm one who really appreciates tech when it comes to bags i like that these bags are always so lightweight and the fact that they have such a wide array of colors and they are also gorgeous kind of just makes you want to collect them all even if you shouldn't because you gotta watch your budget um, 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 um. brand number four is Charles and Keith so growing up Charles and Keith was always like a reward bag for me I would save up my money and then go there treat myself with a pretty office bag with a pretty bag that I can wear to the club wow club but the styles are are always so sleek and so cute this one in particular is kind of new and I know I use this way too much on my posts <laughs> but I just cannot help this flower buckle of destiny it is just the cutest detail that I just cannot get over this is actually my only white bag so do expect a lot a lot a lot of wear it has this really unnatural <laughs> shape to it which i kind of love it has one giant compartment here a little side pocket and that is it you close it up like this and basically it is a shoulder bag that is adjustable and i do have quite a few charles and keith bags but this is my favorite one i do like to wear this one also this one is like a grab and go for me i am very biased towards black bags and this one just goes like that it's like swoop <laughs> it is the perfect size i like how it is this black with an accent of gold here it fits everything i needed to fit and then it has a secret side pocket over here for like my hair combs or whatever another secret side pocket on the outside for your parking tickets and such is a very usable bag very nice shape and very nice size once again charles and keith really excellent quality it has been there since i was in my like early working days until now i still love it and if you haven't tried charles and keith yet come on it's worth it all right last but definitely not the least it is so random but i'm putting it out here it is from gnarly my favorite fanny pack of all time gnarly is very well known for a street style shirts and things but they did come out with fanny packs and i got this in black i just got it for fun sort of because i just wanted you know the gnarly branding but it is the most useful fanny pack of my life i love that the size is not huge and yet when you open this up you can literally fit everything here i put my passport in here which comes in like a giant envelope thing with the um rfid choo choo i don't know passports check wallet check so this has become my ultimate travel fanny pack it has that giant first compartment and then you have a second compartment this is where i put the beauty stuff the makeup and other shizane and then a little front pocket where you can put keys or other little knickknacks you can tighten it on the sides right here but i generally don't touch anything i like to wear it on my Hips if my shoulders are feeling a little bit sore from traveling, but I do tend to wear this on the shoulder. <laughs> this is way too tight. Oh, it's all off the gnarly has been cool for years, and uh, this little thing has really converted me. I think I need all the funkier colors now. And if you haven't tried gnarly, ah, 
you're missing out. So yes, that's all the time I have for today. Just a really quick video before I leave for my shoot. I just wanted to do a little something different. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any of these brands or if you have other recommendations on non-designer bags that we should be trying. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace and love. Bye!